Albatross, one of the most beautiful tunes ever. Peter Green's instrumental from the early days of Fleetwood Mac when they were a blues band. They didn't do anything else that sounded like this. This was just, you know, out of the box. And it's a very simple harmonic tune in that it's just got two chords, E major and F sharp minor, back and forth. And what we have is John McVie and Mick Fleetwood really just keeping down a rhythm section where John is keeping this steady flow of eighth notes, swing eighth notes, and when it changes chords, changes to F sharp. Now Peter is playing these beautiful chords, an A chord to an F sharp, uh, to an E major seven back and forth, and then some nice little melody notes. sparse, minimalist almost, and um, as I was trying to, trying to, I've messed with this on and off for years and just always kind of run out of gas thinking there's just no way I can keep that F sharp in the bass and, and get all the stuff that happens in there and give it, get all the melodies their due, I guess. Um, because of a classical piece I'd looked at that I stumbled into a while ago, I can't even remember what it was now, um, that had just the fifth string retuned from A to G. Somehow that crossed, that hit me. It's like, that's it. That's the answer. Tune the fifth string to F sharp. Now you can play all that stuff. Wait, where are we? There we go. So that kind of opened the door to get to be able to play to think about all the parts here. And then I thought, okay, well, let's that makes the first part pretty easy. That makes the second part really easy, except the second part was originally done with two guitars in harmony. And of course, they bent to those notes on the acoustic guitar. That's not happening, but you can still get the you can get the melody on the second and third strings. And then the bass changes. That worked. Perfect. Okay. The third part, section C. Slide guitar notes played way the heck up here. Now, how are we going to do that? Well, I can play, uh, let's see. Okay, that's not sounding very good and doesn't sound anything like the slide. Now, there's enough of a break here, I could have grabbed a slide and played that and kept the bass going. But I thought, no, let's, let's use artificial harmonics for this. So in section C, I'm getting those melody notes by pressing down to the seventh fret and playing a harmonic 12 frets higher at what turns out to be the 19th. So, a new technique if you haven't done that before, hitting artificial harmonics while keeping a bass line going. Um, there's one other thing, that then, then we have in section C, now the melody's in parallel fourths, which is very convenient for these notes up on the top two strings because they're tuned a fourth apart. So all of these notes are all at the same fret for a while. Ah. And then it comes back to the E chord. And now, in order to get really accurately accurate with what happened there, we hear one melody do this. And another one go. Okay, one went down. And one went up. Okay, so the other technique that has to happen here is a hammer-on and a pull-off at the same time. Okay, I'm going to break all that down coming up and um, 
hopefully you'll get a chance to look at this and, and work on playing Albatross. <laughs>